You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. Pass me the lampshade, I'm drunk again. Blew my drug money on a quart of gin. Well, I am a cultured man with tastes discriminating But I'll settle for a tall glass of anything Well, am I the only one drinking tonight? The only one drinking tonight? This is the Doug Stanhope Podcast, and we have a full slate for you today. I'm not nearly drunk enough to do this, but it's, I, I took the day off because it's Saturday here. What day is it where you are? Call in. Call into our, call into our hotline and let us know. Uh, yeah, we uh, got uh, Joby's here. He's got to give away some tablets with some uh, uh, confused. Well, I was going to throw a dart at all these names to the, uh, the, to the death club, death pool people. He's giving away a tablet. So he's got these uh, a list of names, and he was going to throw darts to uh, figure out who won. And but you we don't, don't have darts. We don't have darts. No. I can't even. I, do, where, what did we. Did we give away those BB guns? Or are they. No, you, you have a BB gun? Oh, do we have a blowgun? I thought I gave that to Kenny, because he's the guy no, most no, likely to put out an eye. Blowgun's gone. Blowgun's yeah, gone. Yeah. yeah, I gave that to Kenny. Why don't we. Uh, we'll take the, yeah, uh, we'll the get pistol. The, we'll get the, what pistol? The BB gun pistol. The one you just bought. The one you almost shot the cat oh, with. Oh, fuck yeah. I, yeah. Thought we, I, was, I was trying to think. I thought I had something new to sh- Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll do one shot at a time, and then the, 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 the one it gets closer to, like, hitting the star at the carnival. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. You don't have to shoot out the whole name, well, You know what? Just to make it really fair, we'll let girls shoot. So we that, have girls that, Not with that gun. Anyone. Everyone shoots like a girl with that gun. Yeah, yeah. But not Joby. No. Joby can shoot anything. So, yeah. We'll... All right, so yeah, that'll be in the second half. Yeah. Now that we have to go in the fucking crawl space and dig around for <laughs> things we hid from ourselves because we drink. And uh, uh, Floyd update. Floyd is uh, his latest tweet shows him outside of the hospital. They wheeled him outside, and I thought, oh wow, he really needed a cigarette. And then I thought, Floyd doesn't smoke. He just really wanted to see outside. He really does look like looking at the sky. But yeah, it was touch and go for a minute. That surgery he had to have his asshole taken out twice, and I don't know. If we'll, we'll find out the details on that. Maybe he had two. <laughs> well, my, good news and bad news. <laughs> my dad had an anal fissure. Oh yeah, it's like a yeah, it's like a I don't know, but uh, like a crater. Yeah, that yeah. actually went so deep in that it connected to oh, his oh. colon, and he was sh- side shit. street. Yeah, he was shitting out right <laughs> beneath his uh, tailbone uh, as well. And uh, that was one of my dad didn't swear and he didn't really have a sense of humor as far as jokes go. But I remember him saying, t- dis- describing it to us. And he says, I bet you knew your dad was always an asshole, but you, I bet you didn't know he was a double asshole. Like, oh, oh dad God. made a joke. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross. But... And, a, and a poop joke. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a he, chip he, off the old block. Yep. Poop is always funny, dad. <laughs> uh uh, I, I've been uh, I've been writing, fucking horribly. I, I I still haven't found a rhythm. I'm just putting fucking words on paper, and then we'll fix it in the next draft. But I've been finding every other fucking thing in the world to do as I sit on that computer, staring at it, including reading Facebook messages. Fate, you don't you barely I, even do Facebook. That's how fucking much I don't want to be behind that. I just get I get sick. And I, anything to do. And then thank God that cocksucker, this Dean Potter 
if you don't know who he is, he's an extreme douchebag. Base jumper. Base jumper, free climber. This is like a, it's a, that whole extreme sports has gotten like music as well. This is, you know, uh, house and this is techno and this is, and you know, it's all the yeah. same shit. You're yeah. jumping off a fucking cliff, whatever. So this cocksucker dies and, uh, I, I, I look at the thing because I'm uh, amused when people that should die die. You know, who didn't want a, the Walenda to fall off the fucking tightrope? <laughs> Nobody. Everybody wanted him to die. And this is just a, another one of those guys. And I don't have anything against base jumping. If that's what you want to do, I, uh, you know, I don't live a healthy lifestyle either. But, uh, but this cocksucker, when I'm reading the newser story, because that's where I get my news and I was just, is there another place other than Newser <laughs> that I can read news in short gulps like that? Newser is great, but they have the fucking Senegenics guy on there. Like every third time you click on a page, it's that fucking, look at me, I had 55, I was fat, and then at 67, look at me again, shirtless, and I'm not as fat, and now I'm 74, and I'm oiled, and I have a fake tan with no shirt on, leaning against him. You're 75, put a fucking shirt on. It's disgusting. Nobody wants to see that. No one. And, uh... So I, yeah, if there's another, I want to, yeah, fuck you, newser. Live without my business. I guess my business is clicking on ads. So <laughs> I mean, you're never going to get my business. I'm probably just taking up bandwidth because I'll, I'll never buy Cenogenics. I'll be happy and fat with a shirt on. You know what? Had you ever considered that, you old fucking grizzly beast with your nipples <laughs> hanging like a fucking mother dog? <laughs> Costa Rican dog with your fucking eight udders scraping against the beach. <laughs> So on Newser, I read the story. That's your commercial, Newser. You're a fucking <laughs> sponsor. And so is Cenogenics. I'm going to start doing Cenogenics commercials. Uh, w- w- yeah, we'll, 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 maybe we'll tape one at the break. I don't know. Maybe they'll reach out to us. <laughs> <laughs> they have. They, they've fucked with me on Twitter when I started giving them shit. Oh, maybe someone wants, uh, really needs our product and uh, you know, is in denial. Oh, some kid is monitoring yeah, their feed. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. The fuck, it's not the 75 year old no. guy. He's out getting pussy Doing in push-ups. Thailand <laughs> while they cry. <laughs> yeah. How about reverse cowgirl? The tears dripping down your face when you have to fuck a septuagenarian. Really, you're <laughs> killing my boner. <laughs> That's how, that's how reverse cowgirl started. Senogenics. <laughs> Face the other way. When you're trying to hold in vomit with your two fingers. <laughs> uh, no, so Dean Potter, I'm reading the story, and it's exciting for me. Uh, what? Have you mentioned that he's dead yet? He jumped off a fucking right. cliff, and this time he died. And in his uh, little uh, two-paragraph memorial on Newser, <laughs> it said he was known for taking his dog base jumping. And uh, so I just put on you know, Facebook, Twitter that, uh, hey, if you're looking for a reason to rejoice this guy's death, read no further in this article than included his dog on jumps. Because that's uh, fucking horrible. So, uh, this, you know, I get some base jumping people, you know, up in arms and I'm like, this is perfect. This gives me every excuse not to write this stupid book that I hate. This was late at night. So I mean, it was later in the evening. So yeah, usually fucking, you stop. My anyway. writer's block is right out the window. That's <laughs> oh, writer's block. No, I had all the fucking writer's, uh, yeah, fury. Shaley, what's a word for, I mean, it was just, you were in your, your, Fun, yeah, happy place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if I could, uh, if I was writing a book about what a douchebag this fucking asshole Dean Potter jumping around in a space chute. <laughs> he's, you know, they they jump with the like human parachute. Oh, uh, like thing. the flying squirrel with yeah, the yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's the flying squirrel. I could have just written. I, I got. I could have busted out seventy thousand words that <laughs> night. On that My end. own book. I got nothing. <laughs> Your life, yeah. your my your own, experiences, life. nothing. No, but a guy I don't know. Yeah, the dog that is alive. Yeah, chucking a fucking <laughs> dog off a cliff in a knapsack on his back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and people are attacking me. How dare you? Yeah. A man of peace and love. He was trying to share. No, he was. He threw a fucking dog off a cliff. <laughs> There's no way that you can be right about this. 
And that's those are the uh, I, I start shit on social media sometimes just for the sake of shit. But that time, no, I'm right. And and no one will, you know, uh, some lady said, well, he stopped doing it once uh, he realized that it was unsafe for the dog. And I go, so I, I wrote back, uh, that's like saying, uh, well, he fucked kids until he realized that they bleed out of their asses. <laughs> it's not the same thing. It's the fucking same thing. And this this is the best. Bingo will remember. Won't remember. Yeah, he will because I brought it up to you. When we played Tallahassee, we walk into this sushi place. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Bingo goes to the supermarket. Chaley and I walk into the sushi place, and there's only one guy in the sushi place. And generally, there's some kind of decorum that you like he, there's a sushi bar he's at the bar but he's all the way at the end and i don't want to sit next to some dude but there's there's enough seats in between us it, it, to... a common courtesy would dictate you would give a little space right kind of like at a urinal and i thought all right there's enough space because bingo's not here she's a, she'll join us eventually and that gives him one seat of privacy and i noticed that he's settling up they have brought the bill to it's, him it's post lunch rush yeah, so, so there's no one in three there. in the afternoon. Yeah. Usually sushi isn't even open. So we sat down. We're fucking grizzled from that drive from, uh, what was it? Where do we play on the, the, the cool place we play? The, where you almost got fucking attacked in the parking lot. Oh, is it Pensacola? Pensacola. Yeah, there was the punk rock club. So we had a drive with a hangover from Pensacola. I just wet my pants. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking, thinking about, about it. Thinking about it again. Yeah, that was a scary moment. <laughs> I'll play through. <laughs> Dark parking lot. That's what you get for fucking, yes, whore and merch. If we weren't whore and merch, you'd be broke, of course. <laughs> but we wouldn't be. Anyway, <laughs> we get, and, and so I don't, I don't want to talk to anyone. Anyway, the guy that we sat na- next to is coming to the show. <laughs> and I can see, I have peripheral vision. And I can see you have him. a spidey sense that you know that this guy knows that you. Yeah. And, and now he's looking weirdness. for a reason. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck! I don't want to talk to people, but I know he's leaving. So he says, Doug Stanhope, I uh, just want you to know I'm coming to the show tonight. I'm a big fan. And, well, great, thanks, man. I'll see, see you there. Show doesn't start till then. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the show starts. And then more chitter chatter, and then. He gets on his phone and he fucking calls his wife. And then he starts ordering more sushi like he just sat down. I know you are fucking on your way out when I even (laughs) sat here. And I just chatting up a storm. And thank God Bingo came back because she gave me at least one person block. And waiting for the food. And he, if you remember, was saying he runs a skydiving thing and he was going to give us to bring skydiving t-shirts of his company. And I, I don't, I, I'm not going to wear your fucking t-shirt. I'll wear this t-shirt I'm wearing right now. Hey, who was it again? Read the back. Zip Zoo Apparel. Zip Zoo Apparel. You fucking, they sent me a cool shirt and I, I liked it. And, uh, the guy who sent me the rape trailer shirt, I was almost going to wear that today, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> I'm not going to wear fucking, uh, stupid's parachuting company. And I told him that a lot of people, a lot of people offer you stuff on the road. And you know, I know we make and sell T-shirts. I know they cost money, so to give one away, yeah, they're not free. And I'm not gonna fucking wear it. So I, if I were to give one away, I'd say, if you're not gonna wear it, tell me. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I'm not gonna wear fucking Joe Blow's fucking zip out of an airplane company in Tallahassee. <laughs> so this cocksucker fucking. He fucking emails me. Listen, you might remember me. I was the guy that, uh, he didn't say, annoyed the fuck out of you for over an hour while the slowest sushi in the world came. I forced two lunches down there. Yeah. Yeah. And then brought my wife out. She probably, she probably left work. She's probably like a paramedic or a nurse and left the ER with some guy bleeding from the fucking jugular to come down. And she probably didn't even like me. He says, you gotta go down and be Doug Stanhope. Then I'm meeting the family. So, he, yeah, he goes, hey, you remember me? I was the guy. I uh, you know, own a parachute company, and I have to side with the base jumping community that you were wrong. That dog was not uh, ever in a position of abuse. How can you fucking say that? 
I don't care if that, first of all, how do you know the base jumping community? Do you get together? Are there so few of you left <laughs> that you can actually, you just know everybody's opinion? Because people that were in the base jumping community were even saying, oh, yeah, I'd never do it with a dog. Even apologists, some of them. And how could you defend that? Just because that's what your stupid little thing I, say, I, I fucking drink myself to death. I would never say, well, you know what? It's okay. You know what? I have my dog drink, you know, one for one with me. <laughs> but he loves it. He loves it. Well, we do use a feeding tube. Yeah, and I, I mix it with it. <laughs> I mix it with I, – I, I use grapefruit as a mixer, uh, meat for him. Yeah. yeah Chicken I, stock. Yeah. <laughs> I take fresh ground sirloin and I spike it with fucking moonshine. Turns out he loves gin. <laughs> in meat. <laughs> that, that now, if take yourself out of that whole. Uh, if, if, I know that's your thing is the the base jumping and thrill seeking. It's just like the the old bit I did. Yeah, you're doing this to get noticed. You're doing this for attention. You're this is a big fucking slapping feet baby cry. That's why you film it. That's why you film it and put your fucking videos out online because you want attention or you want sponsorship. You want, you don't do that. Nobody wrestles an alligator when no one's watching. <laughs> that was the bit I did a million years ago about cops. But it, 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 yeah, you do this for fucking attention and throwing a dog on your back. If, if evil Knievel did what he, that was one of the arguments was, well, you drive around in a, a, a car with a dog and uh, you're more likely to get killed driving in a car. Well, that's kind of an accepted form of transportation. Your dog has to go to the vet and you're not going to walk him six miles. You don't walk him at all. You're lazy cunts. So that, that holds no water. If evil Knievel were going to jump 16 buses for thrills and attention and he put a baby in a papoose <laughs> on his back. Or on his chest. Something with stripes. Yeah. Like, the, like the, put the American colors on it. I don't think American you would flag. have the same argument that that dog wasn't being abused. And I'm sure that either way, I'd have to hear about it at sushi, no matter what your opinion was. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to sit there trying to enjoy my sushi with a hangover all alone. While so, you to uh, well, you, make a, you bring up a good point of, like, you don't even need the analogy. What if Mr. Potter put a child Wait, is this back. Colonel Potter from MASH? I wish. Oh, Dean Potter. Dean Sorry. Potter. <laughs> it's already it, off the fucking topic. <laughs> Good. What if he what if he had put a, a kid back there? It's he safe. would be arrested. Hey, it's safer than, it's than a, it's safer than driving to the vet. Absolutely be fucking imprisoned and that kid would be uh you know, somewhere in social a, services. A, a dog can communicate to you effectively as much as an infant. So why, how, how do you not know? First of all, if you threw a, a – if, if there were two people at the edge of the Grand Canyon and one of them had a dog and one of them had a baby in an arched position, <laughs> like, like John ready Elway, to go, like ready, ready to, to throw? hurl a pass, I would tackle the guy with the dog because <laughs> I don't like a fucking baby anyway. But I'd still – the argument – I mean all these assholes from the fucking base jumping community – Everyone with a picture. Everyone's fucking little picture is their, their parachute going yeah. down. Yeah. Well, I hope you die, you talentless fuck. I'll piss on your grave, too. Well, good. You're still you're ignoring the argument that you don't throw a fucking dog off a cliff. No one's responded except for that one douchebag from Tallahassee with no argument, just saying, I agree with the rest of the community. With the community that he's that involved in. That dog in. was yeah. not being abused. It's the fucking, by far, the most dangerous sport. And you can look up the statistics. It's not a sport. Come on. I, yeah, who wins? <laughs> There's no ball. We win when you die. There's the only winner. It's a recreation. It's a hobby. It is. Yeah. I'm sure it, 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 it takes, I'm sure it takes a lot of courage. But that's the thing they say about stand-up comedy. It, you know, public speaking is the number one fear. Well, it's not for me. So if jumping off a fucking cliff is not scary to you, then don't – I don't go around and go, wow, it's pretty brave what I did there. I just walked up and talked into a microphone for an hour. And you do have people that go, I can't imagine how you do that. Well, because it's not scary to me. So if you like to jump off a of shit, that's fine. 
Hey, stand-up comedy is safer than driving to the vet. You should do a set with a with a dog, dog strapped, on your back. Dog strapped Just to show <laughs> how brave you are. And <laughs> he put out like a 22-minute video, uh, this Dean Potter cunt, of him flying around with his dog in different places. Was this parachuting or was he actually no, doing this? The, the flying, fucking base jumping, like but no, but base jumping is jumping off of a, a, a with structure. the fucking flying squirrel suit. with the squirrel suit. So he's doing that thing where they're kind of gliding. Yeah. Uh, so Red Bull and GoPro, they've got tons of videos about that. So if you'd like to continue this fight, I'm, you're gonna <laughs> do it on Twitter because I'm done with the Facebook. I spent that whole night just. I felt worse about me being on Facebook than I even felt for the dog. Like I don't do this. I'm just so. You did so, put out some dude. Some dude went. <laughs> some guy said, "You know, he had a family, this and that." And I, I said, "It doesn't matter. He jumped off the cliff with a fucking dog, and he should die. And if you defend him, you should die in front of your parents, horrifically, like he did." And he said, "Oh, uh, he didn't die in front of his parents. That's not the <laughs> point." He said he died in front of his girlfriend. And I'm sorry if I made some grammatical errors that I had pointed out. That's pretty weak. But I was... so, uh, so I said I wrote back. I I should be the one to apologize. I didn't know he died in front of his girlfriend. I've had people die in front of me, and it's a very traumatic experience. So I can only imagine the shit that she's going through now. She probably needs someone that she can talk to that can hold her while she cries. Do you have this girl's number? <laughs> I have some time off. <laughs> How's she look? <laughs> I can't imagine she's a fatty dating Dean Potter. <laughs> You'd say she's fit. Like, I mean, I don't have to give you a weight and height and everything, but fit? Would you yeah, use he, fit he to he describe her? He didn't get back to me. No. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Did you mention if, that? If the, you have an opinion about the fucking Dean Potter, don't make it about base jumping. Make it about throwing a dog off a cliff. So, someone wrote, well, uh, the, yeah, you're more likely to die in a car wreck instead of, uh, yeah, than you are base jumping, but you still drive around with a dog. And I went, no, I don't. <laughs> My dogs are kept in bottomless cages <laughs> on top of a treadmill 24-7. <laughs> Because all I'm concerned about is their safety. No reply. <laughs> you did. I wish a- he was famous. Like I wish the guy was famous because that you could get another three days out of who gives a fuck. Actually, the fact that he's not famous means you can talk about this shit whenever. Because you know, eight people in the world care. So if I had a bit about this, I could do it forever. Because I go see this uh, Dean Potter cunt that fucking dove off a rock with a dog on his back. And everyone would go, no. Nope. And then I go, let me tell you about it. Like it just <laughs> happened yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually better. Maybe I'll write that bit instead of working on my book. You had us. Uh, one guy did have him in the death pool. Oh, hold on. That's right. We're yeah. giving away a fucking Doug Stano yep. podcast t-shirt. If you're a listener of this podcast and you're the guy that had the solo pick on Dean Potter in the death pool, when I finally saw that later on, I'm like, someone had him. I want you. I don't know. His name is Chris Johnson. Let's it's from see. he's from Fargo. Oh shit! Let's see. Bleep yeah. that out. Uh, yeah. Hang on. His his uh, his uh, screen name is Dead Eye Dickhole. Yes. If you are Dead Eye Dickhole and you can uh, email me in the next week uh, or whatever, if you hear this podcast, Dead Eye Dickhole from the Doug Stanhope Celebrity Death Pool, you have a free Doug Stanhope podcast uh, T-shirt coming your way for having a solo pick on Dean Potter. Maybe something else too. Maybe something dog related. Cause, uh, I don't know if you bet in your league, dead eyed dickhole, but I want you to win something tangible for having a beautiful spite pick of a relatively unknown Dean Potter. Uh, so, uh, get to me and, and tell me your real name at my website. My email's on my website. Just Doug Stan open hotmail is the fucking easiest way. And tell me your real name, and uh, I'll kn- I know who you are. I just don't want to say your real name on the radio. The radio. Is this is the radio. It's the fucking radio. All right. Uh, I got uh, Canada dates coming up. That's so fucking beautiful. Michael Sam got signed by the Montreal Alouettes in the CFL, and uh, 
the gay linebacker, and I had a bit. It's one of my favorite bits I've written in the last year. He was on like uh, he was. He didn't make the final cut, but he went to a team for the NFL draft, right? But then they yeah, he went to St. Louis. But and he never he made the cut. Practice then... squad for the Cowboys, but but he's playing again. And I'm like, wow, you know what? A, I love that you're playing. B, I love that that makes that bit new again. And <laughs> C, the big is he's signed by Montreal. The Alouettes, my new favorite, sorry, Saskatchewan Rough Riders. You were my favorite <laughs> CFL team, but this guy rides a lot rougher. So I am a Montreal Alouettes fan as long as he's on the team. Uh, and, and that's the start of the tour is Montreal, uh, June 10th. And then we do Ottawa, Toronto, London, Ontario. I love that because we're also playing London, which, you know, uh, in the other London in the UK. And anytime I play Ontario, California, or Ontario, <laughs> Ontario, Canada, I get a slew of emails. Oh, fuck. I thought you were talking about the other Ontario. <laughs> well, we're playing both London, so relax. One sold out. One I don't know. I don't know. But, hey, thank you for fucking uh, – please uh, Facebook and tweet my dates because, uh, yeah, people uh, – I'm not going to be on radio or anything. I don't have a TV show. I'm not going to be on Letterman. They still have Letterman? No, that's done. Reruns. Yeah. So, yeah, please, I appreciate all the uh, word of mouth you can put out there. And uh, October for the UK, as far all we have on the board right now, I think, didn't he put up Bath or something? I was going to look, but you don't like it. I don't know. When I'm there's, on my yeah, phone there's uh, London, there's, uh, Manchester, and I fuck, I'm, I wait the same way you guys wait. I don't know what else we're doing there, but it's going to be more than that. Yes, Glasgow will probably be there. You guys show up. I like you. Don't worry. Shropshire Hamston Dinmouth. I'm not going to be there. Shropshire Hamston Muth? Yeah. That is. That's, that's a famous place. <laughs> that's the that's, guy who invented the square in the waffle came, came from there. <laughs> <laughs> Leicestershire Muth <laughs> born. It's a, they're all the fucking same kind of, you know. Yeah. It's like Spanish names. It's a Guez or a... <laughs> Guez? Like a Rodriguez or a... Oh. I, mean, I can't think of Spanish names. You've I'm gone right, to people now. Should, I should I walk out the places. door and yell, Hey, what's your last name? And I'll just repeat them. Every, all, right. all my neighbors, yell your name. You, did, uh, you didn't mention that uh, the Canadian dates? We have, oh, yeah, yeah. We have Winnipeg, merch. Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver. Well, I was yeah. going to say, we have merch from uh, that just for Canada. That's going to be new. Oh, yeah. Well, the Canadian tour, I'm calling it the uh, – did I already say this last week? You mentioned it, but uh, please mention yeah, it again. Right. Yes, it's called the uh, Weeping Lesions Tour based on the last time I was there being the Tiny Blisters Tour. So this is what that material has turned into, if I can remember it. Yeah, it's, there's very little that you heard when I was there two years ago. Maybe some premises. I didn't have anything when I was there two years ago. You don't have I, anything now. I, I, <laughs> If I didn't have it taped from fucking <laughs> yeah, if if you've seen me in the last uh, year, don't fucking travel to another country to see me. Someone said, "Hey, I live in I saw you in Detroit." <laughs> I was thinking about coming up to Toronto or London. How much of it's new material? Fucking none. That's why I'm going to Canada and the UK. I finally get this shit working good. <laughs> and uh, if I yeah, I, I was gonna come to Vancouver from Seattle. Don't, because if you just saw me in Seattle, it's gonna be the same shit. That's why you keep going different places. Don't, don't trap know. me down, dog the b bounty hunter fan. By the time you get to June twentieth, you're gonna have plenty. Oh yeah, no, I have, I have. The, I mean, that that someone from Seattle might be able to. No, no, no. You don't think so? I don't know, <laughs> but just assume no. Just see me <laughs> in the same fucking town. I don't come back to the same town without new shit. What if they're but a if collector? If you follow me around like an asshole. Don't get upset when you really fucking heard that. Yeah, you heard it. That's why I go to different places. New, new posters, new t-shirts. Why am I so angry? I don't know. I had to fire myself oh. up because you know what? Honestly, the Dean Potter. That's what uh, I was. That, yeah, that shit. Uh, I was angry the other night. Now I'm not because I haven't been fighting with people. So I had to drum that up. Now I'm yelling at you about don't come to my shows <laughs> live. And I'm trying to say, come for the t-shirts. <laughs> There's a poster. 
All the way Aldrich. Hello, yeah, I guess that all ties together. So uh, I, I will save that for the break. I mean, after the break. Uh, Doug, Doug is reading off the podcast whiteboard. This is for the listeners at home. Oh, Floyd. No one saw, except for one dude. And uh, uh, someone sent some. We, we had the Floyd's colostomy bag uh, decorating contest. We've received zero. And I hate you guys. I was hoping Floyd died rather than <laughs> face the shame of coming home to no colostomy bags. Fortunately, he had a second surgery that almost killed him. And the contest ends June 2nd. And uh, you know, Floyd's going to win with just a regular sterilized hospital bag with nothing on it. So get those to 212 Van Dyke Street, or- Bisbee, Arizona, 85603. And send a, get a, go down the medical supply, get yourself a colostomy bag and decorate it with your family, with or, your children. Or a lunch bag. Just well, decorate that guy, a fucking that, that bag. That guy sent a, 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 some like Spencer Giftsy bullshit bag. Put bullshit in here and seal it, like pre-printed. He's winning. And he's winning. <laughs> yep. And what do they win? They win the uh, Doug Stanhope Merchapalooza. <laughs> I go in the crawl space. I find out what I have the most of. And we put it all in a giant package, and then I find something weird that's cool and unique. And I throw that in there, and I go, thank you. Then I never remember you. Then you show up, and you uh, find me at uh, Applebee's <laughs> trying to enjoy fucking chicken breast right before a show. And you go, I'm the guy that you sent the thing to. And I go, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I send shit to everyone. Who are you? <laughs> Step away. <laughs> trying to eat a chicken breast. At fucking Personal Ruby, space. Ruby Personal Tuesday. space. What's that place next to the hotel in Cincinnati? Is it Ruby Tuesdays that have the fucking wicked good chicken? No. Oh, it is. Not- yeah, no, I, I always confuse Red Robin as like a burger joint. So it is Ruby Tuesdays. They got a good chicken with some kind of butter sauce. Red Robin is a burger joint. I know. It's, that's why I know it's Ruby Tuesdays. I just oh. figured that out. Why are we doing commercials when we're about to go to commercial? Corporate sellout. It's the only fucking thing next to the hotel. Actually, I'm never going back to that hotel because uh, they threw me out last time. That's where I smashed the fuck fire oh, alarm. Oh, the fire up. alarm, yeah. Yeah, that was that was my brush with rock and roll <laughs> hotel trashing. The fire alarm went off at like 6 in the morning because they were painting in there, and the fumes were so thick that it was set off the fire alarm in the whole hotel. And I just assumed it's a... a, a temporary, you know, a, a disposable fire. It was hardwired in. Oh, yeah. And I'm sitting there with a metal trash can trying to smash it off the fucking ceiling. A trash can? Well, it's all I, I couldn't reach it with my hand. I'm tr- trying to jump up like a midget smashing a fucking thing. <laughs> I almost get arrested. And I had to move. You know, you had I, to watched, leave. I watched Louie last night, which I, yeah, like a lot of people, most of the time I just go, what? Uh... <laughs> But last night's was kind of good, and I swear he was uh, in the episode. He's playing in Cincinnati, and I swear it's the same hotel we had to move to that you could smoke in, which is, I think, a red roof. I, everything's red. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I fucking stay. And he's like, I can't stay like this anymore. <laughs> he's calling his little agent in the yeah, episode. The kid. The kid who's growing up. Like, oh, you can't replace him. You didn't expect <laughs> to be on this long. <laughs> it's not little anymore. Uh, he's like, I can't stay in places like this anymore. Come on, man. And I'm like, I fucking love staying in places. Like, I was so happy to move to a hotel I could. You smoke were demoted in. and happy about it. Yeah, because I was well, demoted. I was fucking walked out by the police and fire department. The other the- option was jail. Yeah. <laughs> Which I remember the name of that place, and I'd shit on them scumbags. All right, let's go to take a break. We have a uh, company just showed up. All right, we'll be back. After this fantastic message. Hey, Berthenia, why do you look so glum? It's my wedding day, and I look like a giant, stupid, ugly, fat pig with this haircut. Wow, you should have called Julie at Carousel Boutique in Barrington, Rhode Island, right here at 167 Salem's Road. Do they have all the styles from New Wave to Bangs? They have all the latest styles, and they even got a five-star review from Hattie Rose Pacheco on Facebook. If I can't trust Hattie Pacheco's word, who can I trust? Well, certainly not your fiancé. He's leaving you right now for another woman. No. Don't let this happen to you. 
Call Julie at Carousel Boutique, 167 Salems Road, Barrington, Rhode Island, right here. And call her at 401-245-7382. That's 401-245-7382. No. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I guess we're uh, the podcast is back. It just it, it flowed in at some point. Bingo just went out and shot a BB gun that it took four of us to figure out how to use, and that, including Joby, <laughs> who is a fucking marksman. Sorry. Yeah, that's the dog. She said, "Watch out! It gets under your feet." Yeah, yeah, she's right. Uh, so yeah, so uh, this is for yeah a couple of a uh, couple of tablets. So a couple of tablets. Yeah, we're gonna give away two. Why we're, not? Yeah. You know. You know, I don't know what a tablet is, but I think that's a substantial uh, prize for the uh yeah, two uh, it's two 10.1 inch tablets, so yeah. Samsung? Uh I don't know yet. I haven't looked at it, but they're okay. between 150 200 dollars. And so. this is not uh these are for uh the Deathpool website funeral home owner. Like if you're the guy that runs the league guy. Yep, if you're a funeral director then yeah, you're Is one. Dead Eye Dickhole a funeral home director? No, I don't think he is. All right. Well, unfortunately. unfortunately. We'll give him yeah. some shit anyway. This yeah, fucking we gotta Dean load Potter him up. sucks. <laughs> yeah, so we took Bingo <laughs> out. And... Sorry, wait. What, yeah. what were you going to say about Dean Potter? You go ahead. Oh, you had <laughs> – uh, you actually – when you started the whole uh, Facebook thing, you had posted a picture. Oh, there was a picture of him from some magazine had tweeted, and I went, hey, capture this uh, – caption this uh, photograph. It was a selfie with with the dog on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog looking fucking absolutely terrified, and uh, so I said, "Hey, caption this photo from the dog's point of view." And I thought, you know, it's too late now, but I should have done a, a bet, like I'd given away a prize for that. Yeah. Again, the problem is that everyone was tweeting it without the hashtag Dean Potter, so it everyone go, "Who the fuck is that?" I don't even get what this is about. <laughs> Yeah, I should have said hashtag Dean Potter. So all his friends and family are publicly shamed. That the, yeah, you cocksucker who said, uh, yeah, how many people go through, uh, car windshields and versus how many people, uh, uh, die? How many dogs? Oh, yeah. One guy said, how many dogs have died base jumping? Zero. How many people? They don't fucking base jump with dogs because they should be afraid of, if not being arrested, being socially shamed like I'm doing right now. If you fucking beat your kid in a fuck in Safeway, someone's going to go, you really shouldn't hit a kid. And then everyone's going to look at you like you're a dick. If you slap around your fucking girlfriend, everyone, no one's going to be rooting for you, Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's going to think you're a dick. So that's what I'm making sure is everyone knows if you throw a dog off a cliff, you're a dick. And I will mail piss to your grave. Let's get back to this. Uh... <laughs> I can't go there. I have a book to write. Okay, so the funeral home. The funeral oh home. Oh, my God. All right. Winner. The first tablet winner that yeah. Bingo shot. Yeah, only one dog was harmed in the making of this. How many times did it take her shooting to actually hit the fucking Less list? Less than ten. Yes. All right. Seven or eight. All right. Yeah. All right. Deb Awesome from uh, Olive E. Alamort. Hang on. Say it into the mic. Say it one more yeah. time. I don't know. Deb Awesome from Olive E. Alamort Funeral Home. All right. You will receive an email. And then uh, Laura One from Brown Bread. Laura One? One. Laura One. Laura One. Okay. All right. Yeah, so follow, name. follow us at uh, Stanhope's CDP, uh, Facebook, and uh, yeah, DSCDP.com. Uh, play some Death Bowl. I'll be giving a, doing another giveaway with like mourners and whatever later on in the year. So Yeah, I, I, I kind of drifted off that till I started writing, and now I check in uh, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Your sister fucking almost died. Yep. Right during trade rounds, where I'm like, I'm actually going to put some effort into trade rounds. And uh, I found someone, I still don't know who it is, uh, but I knew that you were at your sister's bedside what, with the Topakata Topakata machine going, beep, <laughs> beep, waiting for her to flatline. Beep. That's actually from a movie that I saw in 1970s with my mother. 
The to- oh no, I think that's from Carol Burnett. I don't know. Someone out there, Google that. Topocita Topocita machine is stop making the blip sound. <laughs> I'm fucking out one and one and a half Negronis <laughs> and I'm babbling like this. So uh so they'll get a tablet in the mail. Mm-hmm. And uh, what else do we have going on, death, that death pool wise? Uh, right now, it's just waiting for people to die, like always. Nothing big is going on, uh, you know. Uh, the oh yeah, oh the spite we we did right a- now. And I I told you about the, how, why this wouldn't work. You know, a, a spite league, a spite pick league wouldn't work. Is I don't think people- we set it up strongly enough that it should be just spite picks. But yeah, that- but there's people that have lists where you, half of them are, you could tell they're spite picks and the other half they're like, oh, yeah. this person's going to die. Oh, I really hate Betty White. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't <laughs> fucking hate Betty White. No one does. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it's well, it's a free league, so it's on the honor system. Right. And if you win uh, by not having people that you hate, you're you're a bad person. Right, yeah, you're not gambling anyway, you know, it's not like there's money on the line. So, I wanted Dean Potter's dog to die. What? <laughs> Can't even pick dogs. That's completely against the rules. Uh, I want to know what happened to the dog. I'd love to adopt that dog and just tweet at base jumpers all the time. I don't know if ha- hashtag base jumper gets to them. I, I, I should find out from that douchebag at sushi how he talks to all these people in the community. So I can rep- I want to get that dog and just feed him grotesque amounts of snacks. All still, he's a big fat fucking Yoda, Yoda dog. <laughs> oh yeah, see, this is what makes a dog happy. He looked Not like jumping a, off a cliff. He looked like the uh, that the Mad Max dog, the Blue Heeler. It's the the look of the dog. I mean, I can only see it from the neck up because it was cinched into that knapsack. But yeah, <laughs> very comfortable. Well, it's how my pets sleep to make they it get, comfortable. Get in a fucking tiny sleeping bag and choke themselves with it. <laughs> Stuff so them down into the uh, yeah, yeah the, the sleeping bag sack, yeah. and uh, so they don't cascade into the rocks, free falling. Because a fetal position is so comfortable <laughs> as a dog. <clears throat> why? Are, why are you people not like me? That you're aware that your pets really hate you. My dogs make it apparent. Maybe you just overlook. My fucking dogs don't want anything to do with me except food and walks. Other than that, they just, they, if I slept in, if I took too much Xanax and looked like I might be dead, they'd, they'd, they'd start gnawing on me. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm not going to bite them first. You do it. <laughs> they're, they're arguing who should poke you with the stick. Maybe you should throw dogs <laughs> off a cliff now that I think. <laughs> My dogs. Hey, uh, the Doug Stanhope Trailer Park is in effect. That's right. If you ever wanted to come to Bisbee and stay at the Shady Dell and they're not open because they're sporadic, well, you can stay at my fucking Shady Dell because that tin can rehab, I found another trailer that matches it. Not exactly the same, but matching and very fucking close to the same. And I went, I still have room on that slab. If I have two trailers, then I have a trailer park. And I didn't want to, because it took so much work to get the last one up on that slab. Over two hours. This is the same guy, the former mayor that w- that was selling this. And I saw it on Craigslist. And I go, that has to be Jack. That has to be his fucking trailer, because I know he he refurbishes these things. And it's painted the same way, except this one has a little bit of a Z stripe. I'm like, oh, now I can own a trailer park that I have to go into rehab all the time to justify <laughs> buying. But he got it up there, and uh, how did that? He came to your place, Chaley's place, the they, uh, suicide house. They Don't we have a new name for that? Black Chaley Mom. Plaza. Called, oh no, uh, we did have some Trailies. <laughs> Trailies. That's it. Yes, it's the trailer park and the Chaley's next door to one another. So they came to your door randomly. They they wanted to know. I'd if, already seen this on, and I talked to you okay. like fucking look. Hammond and Han, you did, you wanted to do it, but yeah. you know you're looking at the calendar. Uh, Canada's I'm coming at my up. Bank yeah, account. And you, and I'm looking like, at the fact that I haven't worked for seven months. But I know you. You usually don't hem and haw like that. You usually just go, oh fucking get it, or don't get it. But you then you move on. This one was vexing to you. You couldn't you couldn't really. Get away from it. Well, uh, when you when you sit there 
staring at a screen of a blank open a blank office. sheet of paper on your computer. Yeah, and you go, you go. I just stink, and I might have to save every penny I have because I'll, I'm worthless now, and I'll never ever write anything funny again or even interesting. So maybe I shouldn't buy this stupid trailer that I'll never use. Then, then. They show up at your door. Someone knocks on the door, which is really weird at our place because usually people just walk in because we know everyone is coming through. They'll do the park down there to walk up to here. And there was a knock. I'm like, this something's making a knock. There's a branch knocking on the, d- it yeah. wasn't a person. So when I opened the door and there were two people there, it was like a little shocking. And, and, and they're like, uh, oh, hey, uh, I just want to know if you could, uh, is Doug around? kind of thing i mean i don't even well, know that's where they were when they put exactly the, yeah. because the trailer's there and they wanted to know if you would broker a deal because Some, someone bought the trailer wanted like, to buy the trailer. wanted to buy the trailer but didn't know these people so they said uh well we know we know some people that you might know uh peter coyote a an actor, actor, actor voiceover activist. voiceover artist i think he's an activist i think so too but uh, and then uh, they gave your name, and the person from Los Angeles said, "Doug Stanhope. We trust him more than Peter Coyote." <laughs> uh, they probably didn't say that. They probably heard of me and didn't. That's what it means. Does Peter Coyote live in Bisbee? I don't know. Or are they just throwing out names of people? Oh, yeah, because yeah, because because uh, Jack offered that name, so he knows him somehow. Oh, okay. And the Either guy way. that, they, but at that point, I was like. Wow, this is this is that trailer Doug is really sitting on the fence about. So we we talked a little bit about it, and I I kind of I kind of hinted massaged him. Just kind of hinted. Well, she's doing all the talking. His wife. Oh and, yeah, he's had yeah. two strokes. But, no, <laughs> he's do the but, but he's like he's the guy that does all the work. All right, Mary J. Buttafuoco, let the lady talk. <laughs> <laughs> so he, it ends up that uh, I was going to call you. To let you know that they want you to broker the deal. But I immediately called you and said, you better fucking buy this thing now. <laughs> They're going to sell it to some guy in LA. But yeah, I, and I, I still wasn't convinced. But they dropped the price, $500, and told you that they'd put it on the slab. They said. And I'm like, oh, putting it on the slab, that's that's the deal breaker. Yeah, That's the selling point. Well, I knew what a bitch it was to get it before. We had three trucks show up, two different Project managers, it was a fucking mess. Yeah. Two hours, and none of us are doing it. We're fucking drunk, or like we run away from work. But it, it turned into this thing to where all they they wanted you to have it because they wanted it here, right? They didn't want to drive it to yeah. Los they were Angeles. gonna have to drive it to yeah. LA, so, so drop immediately the price, dropped the price bucks. down. And then I said, "Well, does that include putting it on the slab?" And that's when he stepped up. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> and she's all, yeah, he'll do it. <laughs> Perfect. And that was it. Yeah. And they, they, then they, I, I just called and said, uh, yeah, I heard uh, you dropped the price 500 and you'll put it on the slab. She goes, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I go, I'll buy it. Do you want to look at it? No. I know your work <laughs> and I know, uh, yeah. I, I don't know how many times I'll have to go into rehab. Probably a lot. <laughs> Uh, so they, yeah, they showed up at fucking eight twenty in the morning. Without Two days calling. in a row. Two days in a row, <laughs> and it's on the slab. And now there's a trailer park, honey. Did you want to talk about your uh, uh your friendship camp with Mindy? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. All right. <laughs> but call it the Shadier Dell. We're calling it the Shadier Dell. I think we already said that, didn't no, we? No, you didn't. All right. Uh, so yeah, so now I got more shit I don't need, and uh, so if you want to go into rehab, uh, we're we're green. It's fully solar. Oh yeah, that's yes. that's right. It's off the grid because it has solar power, and uh, except for uh, the uh, shitting and pissing part. Well, the new one, the suite, if I may. All right, uh, has yeah, a toilet like three feet longer. Yeah, it just has a toilet that's hooked up to nothing. You don't shit on the tour bus. No, we're we're putting a lock on that. I door. like to shit <laughs> on the grid. <laughs> I'm a I'm I'm a big grid shitter. <laughs> So, yeah, you're going to hustle it down to the uh, fucking Mornings Cafe. How come we don't give them a fake commercial? Because they're real people. Actually, our fake commercials are real people, too. They just don't know it. 
that we're <laughs> promoting them. Uh, so yeah, go down. Come, don't take a shit on a Thursday because Morning's Cafe is closed on Thursday. <laughs> but otherwise, you can rehab in the rehab trailer for an exorbitant price. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll barter. You know, wants to do a a stint. Mishka Shubali yes. on tour. He wants to do a stint in the uh, in the rehab slab. So. Yeah, yeah. If rehab from what? Running and being healthy? <laughs> hey, Senegenics guys, if you want to fucking rehab at my house and uh, realize you're disgusting, I'll have some 12-step program for you where you can realize, you know what? It's great that you're 75 and you're in great shape, but put a fucking shirt on. You're disgusting. And your wife it was so happy when you stopped fucking her, she'll never admit it. And if you want me to come down, come down to the fucking... <laughs> Oh, the guy who sent me the rape trailer shirt. I still love you. If if it were any other hour than 8 a.m., I was going to wear my rape trailer shirt while they, were- while they were putting the new trailer on and giving queer looks to my T-shirt going, are we aiding and abetting to some? I don't. I mean, he makes jokes, but he's wearing a shirt that says rape trailer and we're. You're the former mayor, Jack. You should say something. You're not going to rape in here, are you? I mean, we're all, we have a sense of humor, but, you know, with this 19 children, I, I don't even know the name of the show. It's Duggers. About the Duggers. The Duggers. How dare you? I should sue. A lot, you're bringing my name down in the dirt. No, they don't have an O. I can't even rape children anymore because they just hear Doug and they say no. <laughs> you blown my cover. How dare you? <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Uh, or maybe we should just end. I don't know. What time are we at? Plenty. Plenty. All right, good. Plenty. I'll be uh, I'll be all over the world. Hey, Joe Rogan says he's going to come visit. He won't. I told him not to. I said you'd be bored. He said, ah, no, I'll come down. I can be bored for a day. Go this weed down here, but uh, Joe Rogan likes to do things. I like to sit and stare at things. So, uh, but he said he likes to hunt. He's into hunting now for deals. It was very. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple thrift stores, and well, you know, there's always a trailer. You're a thrift store. Yes, you can get a great deal. Oh, Joe Rogan, yeah, come on. We'll head. Up. We were just going to head down to Penny Lane. You want to come with us? Hunting for a bargain. <laughs> no, he's been hunting. He said, uh, like, he goes, I, I, I know about, uh, being bored because I've been hunting a lot and sitting in a fucking whatever you a tree stand. Yeah. Or whatever. a blind. A blind. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. A real Alaskan, not some transplant surfer douche. Uh, yeah, sitting in a blind all day. Wait a I minute. Said, Is that directed at me? Yeah, that was exactly directed at you. I bet you couldn't even fucking hold a surfboard anymore. Your fucking years are over. Sad. The truth hurts. Yeah. You're 10 days, uh, 11 months and uh, 20 days older than me. And I don't want to wind up like you. <laughs> I'm going to start taking Cenogenic. I'm the te- I'm the template. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll both do Cenogenics and oil up each other's oh. fucking testosterone fucking steroid tits. I've always wanted lead sinker nipples. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so so Joe Rogan. I told Joe Rogan that uh, I will uh, I will go on a hunting trip with him, but I'll only do it with a paintball gun because I think that's fair. I in fact bought a paintball gun to fucking shoot javelinas when I walk my dogs because yeah. I think yeah shoot I I want to shoot a fucking animal. I want to hit uh, Bingo just fucking she, she just hit a a, a, a tablet. <laughs> I want to shoot a goddamn javelina. <laughs> But I don't want to kill the fucking thing. I want to By the way, it. the tablets that were won, there is some slight damage. <laughs> <laughs> so BB gun holds it. No, you're not supposed to shoot the prize. A this whole, is all layout. Listen, okay. it's all listen. A hole goes through the tablet. This is just surface damage. <laughs> <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, what, what, hold on. What, what is he going to hunt? How does he hunt? What is he? He hunts like elk and shit. He said what? he's addicted to elk meat. I don't know if it's. A, I think it's a crossbow, but I didn't ask. So he's using. He's not using a gun. Uh, elk, uh, elk, elk with yeah, a yeah, fucking no. bow and arrow. That my uncle Bill. My uncle Bill goes David elk and hunting. Goliath. Yes. Mm, yeah. Stone in the temple. <laughs> I don't know. 
I told him if he comes to Bisbee, I will go hunting in a blind with him. <laughs> he said he could be bored enough, uh, you know, live with the boredom for a day in Bisbee if I can live with the boredom of sitting there trying to kill a fucking animal that's probably never going to walk by. No. I won't kill him, but I'll fucking hit him right with a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who? Joe? No, I oh. wouldn't shoot Joe with a paintball gun. Him, you used the fucking bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. It was very funny because I said something <laughs> to the effect of, a, he goes, I know about hunting, but still, I'm I'm addicted to elk meat. I eat the meat. And it, Have and you I ever go, had elk meat? And I said, you know, I, I just hate fucking hunters who are the kind of douches that uh, they put it on, like, Facebook and hold up the head. Like, the guy that shot the black rhino was trying to, if you haven't heard the story, just Google it, but... It, well, you know, it's all about clearing out the fuck. They, they, he had some actually very believable pitch about why he bid $350,000 to kill a black rhino in Africa. But they have specific ones targeted where they're the elder males of the herd that are not reproducing anymore, but still scaring off the young bucks sure. who can make more babies. And, and that sounds completely reasonable. They, they, the government of Nam- Namibia, Actually has, all right, that's the one you can kill. That one's good, 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 kill. One of them actually fucked that he was uh, trailing, tracking, died of natural causes while he's tracking. While he's tracking. And then he had to switch to another fucking (laughs) on the list to kill. I should have brought my cross trainers. I could have kept up. But then it cut, uh, Ricky Gervais tweeted a picture of that same guy and his douchebag titty dancer fucking girlfriend posing as the sunsets over a tiger they fucking killed. He goes, do you think this looks like someone who's really worried about (laughs) developing the environment? So uh, they should have put the tiger onto the black rhino and get rid of the douchebag. Yeah, I don't even remember what my fucking point of this whole story was. Uh, Joe Rogan's coming out. And oh, you're going to sit yeah. a blind and be bored to tears. Oh, no, I said to Rogan, I go, you know, it's it's not hunting. Like, people that hunt, and uh, for Alaskans, that sub- substance, they eat the fuck subsistence. subsistence. Yes, those people, and I said to Joe, it's just the douchebags that go on Facebook and pose with the head and shit. And he goes, uh... Yeah, I, I put my pictures on Facebook like that. <laughs> well, not you, Joe. I'm talking about other douchebags. <laughs> you know, douchebags. <laughs> like the gal from Texas with the cat with the arrow through it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking about. All right, let's get really drunk and stop this whole pointless fucking podcast. Did you want to? What? Oh, uh, uh, oh, the- oh, yeah, no. You know what? Donate to Chaley's up there. How about you fucking mention some names of people who donate to you? Thank right. you, those people. We'll just yes. thank those people next time. I'll uh, I'll have a list next time. Uh, see see how I can fucking problem solve. I already renamed your uh, Joby's friend's dog. I do everything around here. <laughs> all the way Aldrich. Ah shit, we're gonna have to. We'll it's, save that's this. A for, that's, that's another a fucking podcast. Baseball. Let's talk about it. Brody Stevens, where are you when I need you? Okay, <laughs> that's the next podcast. Fun stuff. One more polite One more. adios tip. Gabriel Perboni. What does that even mean? That's the the guy from Brazil. I, I, oh yeah, you, you, that's he, you. Yes, that's on your head. Chaley has something to say while I light a cigarette. Well, during the tin can rehab, we had some uh, some audio issues. Well, it was basically the downloading issues from iTunes, and I, I I think that's pretty much cleared up. I don't know, but oh wait, no, there's a fucking serious issue. Is the podcasts are not getting on my website because the guy has been doing my website on the cheap forever. Got a fucking real job. Yeah. So you have to go to uh, stanhope.libsyn or libsyn. Perfect. That's it. Stanhope.libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. And when I upload the podcast, they, that's where they go. So that's, that's where everything lives. And then we'll, we'll, uh, straighten out something with, uh, with our web, web guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll field just by saying that a million people who say, Hey, I can do your website. Yeah, I can cheap. fix all your shit that's broken. And yeah. maybe you will. Maybe. Who knows? But anyway, uh, Gabriel Perboni, I just, I just have yeah, to say thank you. Yeah, he's a Brazilian you. dude that fucking helped Chaley out with all this bullshit. He just, he, he just. Wouldn't take money. He was, he's one of these guys that just like, he's an audio guy. He loves it. And he obviously is rich because he, he has a business where he just sits around and like listens to things and figures out how to make them better. He's got $35 <laughs> to his name and that's, you know, you can, that's, that's rich. your kingmaker in Brazil. Brazil. I think he's the president of Brazil. Anyway, thank you, Gabriel. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah.
That's fantastic. All right, let's uh, if you can find something weird from the Matoid, and what else is there weird from the Matoid? Play it. Play something. Happiness. Happiness. It's everywhere. Happiness. Let's go again. Let's go Let's go and get there. Happiness. It's floating in the air. Just mining here and there. Happiness. It's everywhere. Happiness. Happy, 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 happy,